Die knife, chip and shatter. If fate draws us in the room, either you hide under anything you can find or you are Paul Atreides. Before going into Dune Part Two, I had no idea who this character was. I'm not a book reader, so halfway through the movie, when Fade Roth appeared, I was surprised and shocked by how amazing his screen presence was and how excellent Austin Butler is in the role. Before I continue, can you please hit that like and subscribe button to show your support for this channel? I'm closing in on 300 subs, and that would mean the world to me. Fade Roth is menacing, devilish, and psychotic, but also very capable and unbeatable. He's not afraid of a fair fight and always backs himself. a quality villains rarely possess movie villains often resort to unfair means for victory and don't get me wrong fate rotha is evil but dare i say at least based on what's presented in the movie is that he is honorable at least in a fight in an age of overpowered heroes there is a reason thanos was so effective it was the fact that you knew no one could defeat him in a one on one fight fate rotha had that vibe he felt like a very real threat and he was not just a physical threat but also a political one in the movie the bene gesserit sends in lady margaret fendring played by leia sedu to seduce him it appears that the psychotic fade rotha has his vulnerabilities and the bene gesserit believe that he can be controlled and manipulated by seduction and they were right everything goes according to plan and lady margaret becomes pregnant by fade rotha and it's revealed that the plan is to secure his lineage should paul atreides bloodline fail to live up to their expectations again we see the bene gesserit scheming and planning especially for the long term a storyline that can be explored in dune part 3 as well the question becomes does that make fate rotha a weak villain the fact that he can be manipulated so easily definitely not if anything it makes him weirdly relatable because it shows that he is vulnerable like any man and let's be honest if leia seduces seduces you chances are more often than not that you will succumb to it unless you are married or you have a girlfriend which i assume fate rotha did not although who knows maybe there is a side of him we do not know perhaps there's a flashback scene in dune part 3 just kidding the ending of dune part 2 has fate rotha facing off against paul in a knife duel that ends with paul stabbing him and killing him in front of the emperor and the fremen solidifying paul as a leader and fighter to reckon with this fight scene was one of the best one on one duels i have seen in a very long time paul felt vulnerable He kept looking at Chani, Zendaya's character, almost expecting her to help him. At least that's what I felt while watching the movie, and that showed how strong Fade Rotha really is. Eventually, Paul does kill him, but it could have gone either way. It felt that close. In the limited screen time Fade Rotha had, it was amazing to see what Denny Villeneuve was able to accomplish with this character. Austin Butler stole every scene he was in, and while I wish we could have seen. more of him what we got was something great what we got was a perfect villain if you like this video please do subscribe to my channel and many thanks for watching